Hi, welcome back. My name is Mike, and this is Mike's unboxing, reviews, and how to's. And today we are with the Oreco 6629 US3 C dual bay USB 3, 2.5 inch, and 3.5 inch SATA hard drive dock. Any idea what that is? Me neither. Let's have a look. So I was messing around, I didn't know what it is really. This is designed for connecting up USB, um, sorry, connecting up hard disk drives from SATA via your USB cable into your PC, uh, laptop, whatever device it may be. Also as a secondary feature, this unit also allows uh, data duplication and cloning. So if you've got, say, uh, an Xbox or something like that and you want to copy the hard drive from one to the other, you can put a small drive in the source slot, put a new drive in the target slot, hit the copy button and you get a block for block, sector for sector copy of the drive. So it um, should be usable I would imagine with PS3, I'm not sure about PS4 but most of the consoles um, and definitely laptops, uh, PCs and basically anything that's got a hard drive in it. I would imagine you could probably do the same thing with things like your Sky TV box as well because this, this isn't um, format um, dependent. So basically, if it does sector by sector, whatever is on the drive, it'll copy. So it's a pure one for one clean. But anyway, let's move on to see what the connector is like on the device. So on the top here, you've got two slots. We've got one drive in there already. Uh, that's for your three and a half inch drive. The smaller cutout there is for the two and a half inch drives or your laptop drives, or for the modern SSDs, which this does support. Uh, it supports drives from pretty much any size. Uh, modern SATAs, so that'll be probably four and a half gigabytes, the smallest, right up to uh, eight terabyte, I believe, is the highest at the moment. Whether or not that's going to be updated with firmware, not too sure. Maybe Oracle can tell us on our website. Uh, also, on the front, you've got your indication lights for data transfer, so 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. Coming around to the side, you've got uh, LEDs which give you indication of hard drive presence or data activity. And if I disconnect the cables all together and spin it right round, on the back you've got your uh, option for clone or PC. So if you want a standalone drive, switch to clone. If you want to use it with a computer or a laptop, then you switch to PC. Uh, next to this you've got the start button. So in the clone mode, if you press start, it begins the cloning process. There is your USB 3 connector. Now uh, this is great because it's the um, Mod, the, the, sort of the common style USB 3 which uh, most devices can use. So if you lose the cable or it gets damaged because it's been unplugged and plugged all the time, quite easy to get hold of a new one on sort of eBay, Amazon, all those sorts of things. Uh, also then you've got at the bottom you've got your DC uh, input and the power switch, power button. So we can plug this in there. And plug our USB in. Fire up. Probably not a good idea to move it while it's initialising, but this is in the name of science. So, uh, drive's coming on now. I'm going to record this with uh, OBS so we can see uh, what has actually happened. If OBS wants to work. Yeah, OBS is recording. OBS is a screen capture software which I use. Um, really good piece of software. Can be a little temperamental and difficult to set up, but OBS Studios, I'll put the link for that in the description below as well. So as you can tell from the, uh, the bleep there from Windows, it's now found a hard disk drive. So it's 279 megabytes, uh, sorry, 279 gigabytes, which is this old uh, relic of a Mac or hard disk drive. So it's unallocated, so we'll create a new simple volume full size, next, next, finish. Okay, so that's formatting the drive, so that's working on the USB at the moment. Well, the drive's making some crazy noises, so it might actually be dying on us, but we'll see. That's still allocating. And D is unavailable and or dead. Okay, it doesn't like that at all. Oh no, there we are, new volume D. 
and this old drive does work. So to get an idea, this is an old uh, SATA 150, so that's the first range of SATA, that's a 300 gig. So I'm going to copy some video here. Uh, what have we got? So copy. And I'm going to paste. See what the file transfer speeds are like. Oh, that was quick. That was only uh, 70 gigabytes. That's sorry, 70 megabytes. So not a particularly good version to do that. Let's try another one. Let's try that. Copy on there. That's not going to do it because that is the one which we're recording at the moment. But anyway, realistically, you're looking at 100 megabits. That's uh, right, 100 megabytes uh, per second transfer speeds. For large files, for smaller files, that's going to come down depending on the overheads and windows, etc. But there we go, it's the Oracle uh, 6629 US3 C USB hard drive, uh, dual bay, 2.5 inch, 3.5 inch SATA hard drive dock. So that's pretty much it. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to show you, actually, I'll put the drive in, see if we can do it live, I'll stick the drive in, and see what happens. Whether these are hot sock or not, I don't know. I'm going to find out now. It's making a noise. And it shut itself down. And the lights are coming back on again. Although only one of them. So arguably, no, it doesn't like doing that. So we'll turn it back off. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Didn't push it in far enough. Yeah, that's making the right noises now. There we go. So that's detected our two terabyte drive. Which at the moment has, oh, I see the drive is just disconnected, so that's unallocated. So we'll put a new simple volume on there. There we go, just put a quick format on the drive. Do one format disk, uh, not really. There's our, there's our disc. There we go. There's our e-drive. So, hot swap doesn't like, or doesn't seem to like. So probably best you turn it off, turn it back on again. But again, for thirty pounds, fantastic. If you have a, a major catastrophe with a hard drive or it's dying, and you think it might be the computer, which is a hardware failure, buy one of these, stick your drives in there, get the data off them quick before the whole thing goes. Uh, for things like that for thirty pounds or well, thirty one forty nine pounds, and like I said, it's worth that just to get your data off of the dying disc before uh, you lose all those memories and precious things. So, buy one. The links in the description. If you want to subscribe, you can click on the subscription link up there or down there. And if you want to see another video, you can click up there somewhere and watch whatever crazy thing I do next. Um, I've been Mike from Mike's Unboxing, Reviews and How-Tos and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.